Good morning, and welcome to the Master of Management Analytics at the Rotman School of Management presentation. We are honored to be with you today and in the company of leaders in the education of operations research professionals. Thank you to the INFORMS team and the judging committee for all your hard work in delivering this competition each year and for all your valuable work in promoting the community. Thank you to UPS for sponsoring this prize and being a leader in the industry. My name is Fiona Dooley, and I'm the Associate Director of Program Services for the Master of Management Analytics Program, MMA for short. We are based at the Rotman School of Management, the most globally recognized business school in Canada. Rotman is part of the University of Toronto, Canada's top research university, and is located in downtown Toronto, the country's financial, commercial, and cultural capital. The school's strong academic reputation and close ties to the business community give graduates an edge in their search for a fulfilling career. In the classroom, top-ranked faculty provide access to the latest research before it filters into consulting firms and major corporations. Learning at Rotman goes deep, combining a rigorous model-based approach to decision-making with a strong emphasis on personal development. The school attracts people from a wide range of countries and backgrounds and provides them with a learning environment that is safe, welcoming, open, inclusive, and respectful to all. In today's presentation, we'll walk you through the history of the MMA, the three main questions we built the design of the program around, and what the execution of that planning looks like today. Our first speaker has a long history with the MMA and was instrumental in the launching of the degree in 2018. I would like to welcome Susan Christofferson, Dean of the Rotman School of Management, to share with us why Rotman saw the potential in the MMA. My name is Susan Christofferson, and I am Dean of the Rotman School of Management. Rotman prides itself on being a leading business school with a laser focus on data-driven decision-making. Business leaders turn to Rotman to provide insights that help make sense of a world that is rapidly changing. For years, we have been teaching different model-based approaches to complex problems and have uniquely positioned our graduate students to compete in an increasingly data-intensive world. In 2018, we decided to build on our strengths as we launched our Masters of Management Analytics. At the time, demands for talent with more technical skills combined with business acumen were exponentially growing as companies looked for better ways to manage their supply chains and predict consumer demand. We wanted to address the market need for professionals who could help extract business insight from data. We were careful in designing the program to ensure students got a balance of quantitative algorithms combined with an exposure to fundamentals of different business disciplines. After only a few years of running the program, it is already highly ranked internationally and is one of the most selective programs to get into. The placement rate for the program is outstanding as our students are highly sought after across a wide range of industries. So what's the secret to our success? Rotman's research excellence and its location in the heart of Canada's largest economic and financial centre provide some of the key ingredients that allow for a strong connection between academics and practitioners. We also were very deliberate in admitting only the best and brightest students from around the world and in providing them with excellent instruction grounded in practical business applications working directly with industry throughout the program. The curriculum is constantly adapting to incorporate new methodologies and data science techniques creating flexibility not observed in other programs. The program has benefited immensely from investments in Rotman's TD Management Data and Analytics Lab, and we have seen a surge in data science and data analytics training across all other programs at Rotman, thanks to these investments. The training in our MMA program is therefore not only filling a specific demand for talent, but it is also enhancing what we teach across all of our programs. Our MMA graduates have a unique portfolio of skills that combine both the technical and business knowledge that the market is looking for. Professors Dimitri Kras and Ofer Baron, the founding and current academic directors of the MMA program, will now take us through the program design. My name is uh, Dimitri Kras. I'm an INFORMS member for 35 years now, and I was the founding academic director of the MMA. I was responsible for the program design 
uh, gaining institutional approval and then leading the program for its first three years. So when we set out to design the MMA, we started with, uh, of course, our own vision of what an ideal management analytics professional should be. And then we consulted the market. Uh, we conducted around 20 in-depth interviews with a variety of analytics professionals, ranging from senior level VPs at large financial institutions to mid-level data scientists to entrepreneurs in analytics startups. And we asked them what would motivate them to hire our graduates. And four themes came back loud and clear. Number one was technical excellence. The graduates should be able to perform all key analytical tasks, from data preparation to feature engineering to modeling to model implementation. It is not enough that they know how to do this task. They must be able to actually execute. Coding skills in particular must be very strong. The second theme was managerial acumen and storytelling. Many, according to some studies, 80% or more analytics projects fail. And often this failure is due to data scientists not having a clear understanding of business processes they're trying to support, while managers do not understand how to interact with data scientists and analytics projects. So an ideal management analytics professional must start with an excellent understanding of the management issues and processes. They should be able to translate managerial requirements into technical specs, execute the project, and present complex analytical results back to managers. So the three key functions here are translation, communication, and execution. But the third theme was up-to-date tools. Graduates are expected to be familiar with the latest analytical themes, ranging from data governance to social network analysis. The foundational training in the classical statistics and operations research tools is of course important, but should be dynamically adjusted to capture the latest and greatest advances in analytics theory and practice. And the fourth theme was real life experience. Classroom instruction can never replace experience of solving real life business problems, working with real life data, in real life teams. Structured class projects are just not enough. Effective experiential learning component allowing students to practice all key analytical and managerial skills in a real life setting is a must. Now that we understood what the market was looking for, we knew that the MMA program design must respond to several challenges. One is how to effectively deliver a comprehensive real-life experience in a short 11-month program. Second is how to train high level of technical skills along with the managerial skills and to make sure the students see the relevance of the material and not treat it as just another course. And the third is how do we adapt to the dynamic, fast-moving environment of the data science analytics world within a slow-moving university environment. So we decided that we must build our program around the unique experiential learning component, the MMA analytics practice, that combines the best aspects of a capstone project and an internship. Hi, my name is Ofer Bern. I'm an Informs member for 20 years, and I'm the current academic director of the MMA. Almost every management analytic program has an experiential learning component. This comes in two flavors, capstone project or an internship. Each has their own strengths and weaknesses. We created a unique MMA analytic practical that combines strengths of both capstones and internship. First, each project is hosted by an organization and curated in advance by the faculty team, ensuring they are strategically, analytically, and philosophically aligned with the MMA program. Essentially, each practicum is a consulting project. Second, project hosts provide students access to internal data but do not prepare a data set in advance. Third, students' team are embedded within the host data science group, ensuring a real-life experience, and teams also work with faculty and TA, PhD students, coaches, ensuring projects are properly academically grounded and use the most appropriate analytical tools. Fourth, the projects are done in three sprints throughout the program, during which students are dedicated entirely to the project, allowing for sufficient time for data collection, approvals, etc. Teams first study and understand the business process, identify required data resources, and prepare a data engineering and analytical plan. Once their proposal is approved, team executes on it, performing all stages of analytics projects. 
Students present their intermediate and final deliverable to project hosts, addressing both managerial and analytical issues. In fact, there are two rounds of presentations, internal to project host and external presented to a judging panel and open to the public. These public events turn into celebrations of the program, allowing all students and hosts to be exposed to each other, the students see the full diversity of analytic applications, and these presentations have an overall presence of hundreds of people, including prospective hosts and employees. Fifth, the practicum structure allows the program to be organized around it, with teaching of the relevant skills time to each sprint. Professor Kras will discuss this shortly. This design has three main advantages. First, comprehensive skills usage. The projects involve all of the major skills trained in the program and are philosophically aligned with the program through faculty and TA supervision. Second, academic integration. Since the program is integrated with the practicum, students can see the immediate relevance of the material taught in class. Third, integration with other programs. Practicum provides wonderful research idea and access to data to faculty and the PhD students' TAs can use it for their own research. I'm Pierre Montagnier and I lead the Advanced Analytics and Data Science team within BMO Marketing. I've been hosting practicum students for the beginning of the program with Rotman and I love those projects. They give me access to a whole source of young talents. Students come with very strong analytic skills and they have the ability to, uh, to apply those skills to real life business problems. What I like in the partnership is students come with innovation, thought leadership and academic excellence. Throughout the project we challenge them and they challenge me and my team. For the time we have been working with the MMA program I had really access to a whole source of new talents to join my team after um, graduation. It's pretty hard because they are in a hot demo and you know I've made offer after every project and over the years I managed finally to get a couple of students to join my team and this they have been a wonderful contributor to the team. I can see how the MMA program has helped them to transition smoothly from the academic world to the corporate and analytics world. In the future, you know, I really would like to continue this partnership with the MMA program. We have been partners from the start. What I really like is how throughout the years we have really worked together to make the experience better, both for the students and for the host. So this is a wonderful program. And now it's actually this time of the year where already I'm challenging my team to come with project ideas. And they have to be kind of the uh, project that would really fit, like would be of a Rotman caliber. The MMA program structure is based on the belief that the art of management analytics has four foundational principles. Asking the right managerial question, effective use of appropriate data, employing correct analytical tools, and effective two-way communication. And these principles line up well with the three practicum sprints. The first sprint is focused on understanding the managerial problem and proposing an effective solution, which is asking the right question. The second sprint's goal is constructing an analytical data set and building the initial models, which is data and tools. And the last sprint is on relating the analytical solution back to managerial question and communicating the results effectively, which is effective communication. Uh, since the program is organized around the practicum, it also consists of four components. The first one is preterm. So students take boot camps on statistics, finance, accounting, and computer science basics in Python and R programming. And this ensures that all students start at an appropriate common level. Next follows the introduction term. And here the focus is on introducing students to different functional areas of management and on how data analytics is used to solve business problems. The questions addressed here include, what do different parts of organizations do? What is the relevance of analytics to them? How do managers use data to make decisions? 
Students take a course we call the Mini MBA, which is a series of six to 12 hours of modules on marketing, strategy, organizational behavior and human resources, accounting, finance, and operations. And alongside with that, a course on structured usage of data in these disciplines. We also teach an in-class practicum preparation module that is designed as an in-depth introduction to key aspects of analytics projects. And the term culminates in uh, what we call the practicum showcase, where hosts come in and they introduce their projects, meet their assigned student teams, go through the onboarding process, and the students meet their coaches and are now encouraged to start structuring the project analytically. They now know the problem they're faced with and they're motivated to learn the tools they can use in their project. The third term is the analytical tools term, which is a 12-week term that provides students with a thorough foundation in data management, analytics techniques, statistical theory, and essential optimization and simulation tools from operations research. Since coding proficiency is stressed throughout the program, different courses use different languages and platforms including SQL, R, Python, but also Excel, Jump, at least Gurobi. And students are encouraged to become agnostic to the tools that they work with by gaining competency across a wide range of tools. After this term, the students are ready for the proposal sprint. The fourth term is the applications term. It's another 12-week term which helps students further develop their toolkit in AI, deep learning, and natural language processing. However, the primary focus is not on tools, it's on applications of analytics to large and massive problems in various areas of management. So students choose three electives that expose them to uh, advanced analytics applications in supply chain management, finance, accounting, and marketing analytics. And in each of those courses, the students are faced with a managerial problem. For example, detecting fraud in annual statements. And I expected to develop an analytical approach using the full toolkit that they have learned in previous terms. This course is not only provides students with additional opportunities to learn different tools, but also understand how to use, criticize, and communicate the analysis in the context of relevant applications. The second two-week practicum sprint aimed at construction of the analytical data set and initial modeling occurs in the middle of this term. And the final five-week practicum sprint, where the project deliverables are finalized and presented to the host, follows the application term and culminates the program. The students can now put all the tools and techniques acquired in the program to bring their projects to successful completion, culminated in what we call the Rotman's Analytics Day, where all projects are presented to a panel of judges. Another important and unique feature of the program is our analytics colloquium. This annual course was designed to allow us to expose students to the latest tools and topics from the fast-changing data science landscape. The colloquia include a series of mini courses exposing students to key analytics tools. Colloquium topics include responsible AI, data acquisition with API, big data processing with Hadoop and cloud computing, social network analysis, causal Bayesian modeling, ML ops, analytics for customer relationship management, analytics for detection and fraud of money laundering, etc. Each mini course includes 6 to 12 instructional hours and has at least one hands-on assignment. The courses are taught by practitioners or faculty with deep experience and interest in the topic. The course's models are constantly reviewed and updated. New topics that bubble up in analytics space are introduced, such as ML ops last year. Other topics may mature to the point where we feel they must be part of the basic skill set. They are turned into full program courses, e.g. causal modeling is making this transition now. Yet other topics may become less relevant or redundant. This design allows us to always keep the curriculum current and relevant. Overall, the nature of the practicum projects that change from year to year, the relationship with the TDMDA lab and the MMA advisory board allows us to remain up to date on the latest and greatest of analytics in practice. Obviously, our top research faculty are on at the leading edge of the latest and greatest in theory of business analytics. Overall, the colloquium allows us to dynamically incorporate this knowledge in the classroom. To summarize, 
we felt we developed a wonderful and unique design of the new MMA program. But turning this design into reality, recruiting students who are great fit for the program, supporting them throughout the program, ensuring their successful in their research, this is what really makes the MMA program work. And this could not happen without the integration among our amazing program staff who make sure our design is flawlessly executed upon. As you have heard, a lot of thought, research, and analysis went into the design of the MMA. Our program team of recruitment and admissions, program services, and career support had a lot to deliver in our execution. The key to this delivery was to understand the life cycle of the student and support them throughout. This starts as early as the application stage. My name is Stella Moon, and I'm the Assistant Director of Recruitment and Admissions for the MMA program. The goal of our recruitment and admissions team is to find and admit a diverse group of students with strong skills in mathematics, statistics, coding, and communication skills. Our competitive acceptance rate of 17% on average has made that possible, allowing us to focus on advanced level of training. To make sure that we are finding a diverse group of top talent, our team's recruitment and admissions efforts have always centered around developing unique strategies. One of these strategies was to launch our own annual case competition, Datathon. Rotman MMA Datathon has become widely and internationally popular, attracting thousand participants from 30 countries over the past five years. Around 11% of our class each year are Datathon participants. So while searching for the programs in Masters of Management Analytics, like I was looking across universities in Canada and US, and that's when I came across this Datathon being offered by the Rotman School of Management. That was a great insight into the MMA program, meet the admissions team and the faculty as well. So I thought, yes, let's do it. And you know, what, what's there to lose? Plus there was an additional benefit of having the entrance award as well. The best part about this Datathon was that it was an actual real world problem that people face in the marketing vertical in their companies. So it's not about just applying this uh, models to the data that you have, it's actually about translating the results that we find back into the managerial answers that the leaders are looking for. So the questions were not framed in a way that you have to like run a model on this. It was actually that we have these problems that you need to solve and this is the data that you have like and all the tools were at our disposal. They told us that they were not actually looking for what kind of models can you run. They were actually looking for what kind of feedback or the advice can you give to the management that would help them form their decisions, you know, how and how can you back it with the data. And that's when I realized that this is what the program might be all about and this is what actually the industry is looking for. And coming now down the line, like when we are already into this program, like that Datathon has really translated into what, you know, I was looking for. Further sets our program apart in the admission stage is our interview day. Once we receive applications from around the world, top candidates are shortlisted and invited to our interview day a day filled with presentations from our academic director and the career services team, one-on-one -on -one admissions interview with faculty, industry or TDMDAL members, ending with a networking session where we also invite the current students from the program. Using the online platform AirMeet allows all of the attendees to move around freely between tables, really replicating that real life interactions. Our survey results show how candidates have found our interview day format unique and something that has played a key role in their decision. Acceptance rate has increased by close to 15% since the launch of the event. We use the interview day as an opportunity to showcase our incredible program and the support, meanwhile assessing not just the candidates' technical skills, but also their communication skills, professionalism, and their ability to network in a business setting. Attracting top talent and promoting equity, diversity, and inclusion requires incentives, including prestigious scholarships. Vector Scholarship in Artificial Intelligence by the Vector Institute is one of them. This merit-based scholarship supports the recruitment of exceptional candidates pursuing an AI-related master's program. We are proud to say that our program has one of the highest number of recipients every year at around eight students. Scotiabank MMA Fellowship is the newest addition, which is awarded to one outstanding incoming student with preference given to Black and Indigenous candidates. 
The fellowship also provides additional value-added experiences like mentorship to support the student experience further. Our RNA team provides constant support throughout an applicant's journey, and we're very proud that our amazing faculty and staff are also a big part of our recruitment efforts and always ready to support our applicants. The recruitment and admissions team works hard to attract the top talent of students with technical and communication skills. But they also ensure that we have a wide diversity in our class. Students come from engineering, economics, computer science, healthcare, and so many more disciplines. Our program looks at the holistic student application, seeing the diverse opinion and experience each student can bring. Students join us from around the world, including Africa, Asia, the Middle East, and Europe. It is in the building out of the diversity of the student body that we will use a portion of the UPS prize should we win. Our goal is to support the three key aspects of the program, technical skills, soft skills, and setting students up for success in the post-graduation real world. A major strength of the program is community. In program services, it is our job to foster that community and support the students' growth effectively in the short window of time. We see community building as key for both skill acquisition and providing students with a network they will rely on long after the program is over. We start our work before the program starts by preparing students for what to expect. Pre-program boot camps ensure students get a head start on hard skills development. Our orientation touches on cultural fluency, the importance of soft skills, and time management. We use a student journey map to advise students on where their peaks and valleys will be so that they can take full advantage of all the opportunities on offer, such as the Self-Development Lab, Rotman Business Analytics Club, case competitions, and optional certification exams. Here, they can test out the skills they are learning in a safe environment. In a recent survey, our alumni indicated that one of the most valuable aspects of the program was the development of soft skills. During the program, students are put into three teams, two for classwork and one for the practicum. We see the ability to work effectively in teams as crucial to their success in the program and beyond. We provide extensive support for the team both academically and behaviorally through the Skills Development Lab. These teams are created by an algorithm that ensures the programs are balanced on 13 distinct factors, including the academic background, strengths in computational skills, technical skills, work experience, and gender. In our alumni survey, over 70% of respondents indicated teamwork as a large component of their job. Our method of exposing students to three different sets of diverse teammates increases the class cohesion and allows the students to practice teamwork skills that are invaluable in the post-graduation world. Hi, my name is Sydney. I'm currently an MMA student at the University of Toronto in the class of 2022. Joining this program, uh, you really think of it as I'm going to gain a lot of these academic skills, you know, these hard technical skills and managerial skills. Something I didn't expect but was really impactful for me was a lot of the skills that I'm gaining are on the soft skills side. So learning how to develop those presentation skills, those communication skills, which are just as equally important as those hard skills. And these are what are gonna be very applicable to me as I enter the real world. So not only am I learning how to code a bunch of blocks of different languages, but you know, I'm learning how to communicate that to different stakeholders taking that hard technical skill and being able to translate it, which is such an important skill when I enter the real world and I'm going to be applying that in, in a job atmosphere. Getting onto these teams, uh, we actually made sure that there was a lot of balance in both skills and where people came from. Uh, so for example, you know, you're dealing with people from a lot of different disciplines. I come from a business background, but we have a lot of people from coding, economics, all over, um, learning different things. So when you come into a group like that, you have a lot of different perspectives and it's a really interesting way to be able to learn how to tackle a problem a little bit differently from different angles. Um, so being able to work in a team like that, being able to learn from others as well as from the classroom is a really, really great way to be able to get, grasp these really hard concepts. Um, we also had a lot of people uh, coming from different backgrounds culturally. Uh, so that was a big lesson in learning how to d deal with different social styles. For example, I'm very outgoing and learning how to deal with more introverted people. 
um, was something that I, I really gained from working in these teams. Um, we have a, a module called SDL, which actually helps us kind of establish team norms and learn how to deal with people who are coming from different backgrounds and making sure everybody feels heard. Each year, we review the co-curricular offerings and adapt them to the needs of that cohort and what our advisory board has indicated the industry is looking for. Our co-curricular offerings are rooted in exposing students to scenarios they may face in the workforce or skills they will need to display on the spot. For example, after feedback from our industry connections that our students had trouble handling tough adversarial questions, we introduced an adversarial case competition where students are asked to develop the analysis of the same data from two opposing sides learn how to storytell, and properly defend their analysis in view of harsh criticism from their peers, alumni, and faculty, all in a fun setting. It isn't always just about the data, and we want students to see the importance of making persuasive arguments to all audiences. In order to properly support students throughout the program, the Management Data and Analytics Lab came to life alongside the design of the program. The lab serves as a center of analytic excellence within Rotman, houses detailed real-life data sets allowing faculty and students to practice and advance their skills on real data, using the latest analytic tools, libraries, with proper personnel support. In creating a lab, we also created a set of brand new positions, data scientists in residence. Our data scientists in residence have deep experience in real-world analytics as well as an interest in academic research and teaching. They support the program in a myriad of ways, from teaching courses to coaching practicum teams, helping students in hackathon competitions, preparing students for interviews, and providing career mentoring. As soon as the Data Lab initiative was approved and funded by Rotman, TD Bank offered to provide a much expanded foundational grant for the lab. Hence, it was renamed TDMDAL. The reason for this support was that the labs and the MMA's program goals were well aligned with TD's strategic focus on developing analytics talent and fostering connection to academia. TD MDAL's activities are not just limited to supporting the MMA, they provide support for all analytic initiatives at Rotman, fostering integration between the MMA and all other programs at Rotman. The combination of technical and soft skills is the backbone of the student support. We consult with students closely through the class representatives to ensure we're meeting the goals of our graduate students. Johnny Wang is our current class director. My name is Johnny. I am the current student director for the MMA program in class 2022. Outside of a class, I work closely with the program administrators and faculties to enhance students' learning experiences by providing academic and technical support. And to be more specific about the work that I did, I launched a coding club within this program to support students who don't have a programming background, to help them build a foundation, a solid foundation in understanding the programming languages such as Python. And with this coding club, students can get more hands-on opportunities so that they can be better prepared for those practical projects in this program later on in their learning. I also collaborated with other student representatives, for example, our uh, career representative, to help students become more proficient in handling technical interviews by teaching them how to prepare more effectively so that they can become more employment competitive when they enter into the job market. A key measurement of success in the execution of this program is the success of its graduates. To achieve this, we offer a full suite of career services and industry connections. It's our job to develop the potential of students right from the recruitment phase throughout the program. Diana Byers will speak to the industry connections through our advisory board, the career services on offer, and the involvement of our practicum partners. The advisory board allows our program to stay on top of industry demands and impact what is delivered at Rotman. The board members have access to our great MMA talent and have opportunities to interact with other senior analytics professionals. To get the most from the board members, we meet in small and large groups several times a year to discuss the program's trend, their company's hiring needs, and gain their support for networking, coffee chats, and mock interviews with our students. 
Career training and coaching supports for the program begin before it starts and for a year after the program completion until each alumnus has been hired. Career Services interviews prospective students when needed to ensure they show promise and are likely to find success in their careers after the program. Students are supported on their career exploration, development, job search process, and are prepared to interact with professionals such as the practicum hosts and the MMA advisory board. As the student's career coach, I meet with each student upon entry into the program to devise a tailored strategy for their career planning and job search. I meet with each student throughout the program to provide individualized support. I discuss with students their interests, strengths, and career goals, amongst other topics. I train students on how to write effective resumes, cover letters, and LinkedIn profiles to promote their brand. I help students to scope their job search and prepare them for networking opportunities and coffee chats with junior and senior analytics professionals such as alumni and TD MDAL data lab scientists in residence to name a few. We have had incredibly strong employment rates since the inception of the program in 2021 alone. We had 98% of the cohort find full-time work within three months of graduation. Employment numbers were also quite strong during the 2020 pandemic year as well. As we know, analytics is a massive area for growth for industry. We have seen very strong year-over-year -year average salary increases for our recent graduates, about twice what they pay for tuition, putting them in the 90th percentile of salary in the province, proving an immediate return on investment for our students. At Career Services, we receive frequent requests from a variety of employers to meet with our students with the intent of hiring them. We also promote our students through LinkedIn campaigns to employers to promote them as prospective candidates to consider. Board members, alumni, and employers who participated in our mock interview programs have ended up hiring students they interviewed there. Almost 30% of our practicum hosts have hired our students just last year. Alumni give back generously and have a very strong presence at our networking events for students, like our mock interviews and coffee chats. Our support for the practicum projects also starts before the program begins. We meet with hosts to coordinate the practicum projects during and after the program to gather feedback on the project details, their employment needs, and feedback on students. This feedback allows us to provide ongoing, relevant support to students on potential areas of growth and improvement. This feedback also allows us to maintain our program relevancy to employers. Practicum projects are an incredible way for students to learn what is expected of analytics grads in the real world and gain transferable skills to contribute to their careers. We intend to utilize the prize money from this award to create more opportunities to increase the MMA global presence with practicum projects. Another practicum host from Viva Systems, Alnaz Alipur, has some thoughts about their experience as a host. The results we have got has widely exceeded even our best like hopes. They have been incredibly smart, incredibly professional, and them having the access to the faculty at the same time that they are going through the program and talking and working with us has also really helped give them both uh, theoretical knowledge and real world knowledge. So they are very well-rounded data professionals coming out of this program. With data professionals, especially the recently graduated ones, or in this case, the ones that are not even graduated, you a lot of times find them to have one skill that's a lot more outstanding than others. The amazing thing about the group of students we received from Rodman is that we didn't see any area that was lacking. Sure, some of them had a bit more technical skills than business skills, but all around, everything was very well-rounded. They had the technical abilities to understand the algorithms, the math behind it, and be able to write program, like execute a relatively difficult 
project that we gave them. And they also were very good at understanding the business needs behind it, what was the objective of it, how would it affect a client. And they had really good communication skills that we were very impressed with. And leadership skills, honestly, which is amazing in such young professionals. And we would be happy to have any of them on our team. Hi, my name is Anita. I'm MMA class of 2021. And after doing the practicum project at Rotman, I transitioned into a full-time position as an associate economist at Payments Canada. Um, my personal experience during the practicum project was that I got a chance to actually see the sample of work that I will be doing later on during my day-to-day -day activities at Payments Canada and um, the project provided me with a great exposure of my work. Besides that, it provided me with, with great connections that I made throughout the practicum project. So it saved me a lot of time and stress <laughs> later on in my career. So the people that I work with right now are basically the people I was introduced to earlier during the practicum project. We are immensely proud of all the magnificent work our alumni have achieved both in the program and out in their careers. In the MMA program, we first teach the theory and then we teach the application. In this presentation, we have shown that a lot of research and analysis went into the design of this program to deliver a comprehensive interactive program that teaches high level technical and managerial skills on relevant material, while constantly adapting to the fast moving environment of the analytics world. That design is executed by an integrated approach of admissions, program services, and career support, looping in connections to the industry and real-life problems at every turn. The result is an incredibly unique program that prepares graduates to be exceptional management analytic practitioners. Thank you for having us today. We hope that we have shared with you our vision for educating the ever-evolving analytical professionals will have an impact on the global scale. To end us off today, Judy Sal from the MMA Class of 2020 will share with us her relationship with the program, and then our team will be available for questions. Hi everyone, my name is Judy, and I'm an MMA alumni Class of 2020. Before to joining the MMA, I did a PhD in chemistry. However, upon graduating from my PhD program, I realized that I didn't really want to pursue a career in academia. And because of that, I took up a role at an education startup in Toronto. And it's through that experience that I started to grow a deep interest in data analytics. However, I found that I was missing some skills that can really bridge my scientific training, as well as this business world that I newly transitioned into. And it's for that reason that I came to the MMA program, seeking a way to bridge that gap. And I think the program did just that for me. I was able to pick up more coding and technical skills. And it did, in addition, I felt that I learned a lot more about the business context that I was uh, lacking to understand the different problems facing in any company. And I felt especially challenged through the practicum project because these problems tend to be quite complex in the real world. And through that experience, I really learned to break down a seemingly um, very complex and impossible problem into small pieces, frame them as analytical questions, and to solve them for the various stakeholders that I was uh, engaged with. And since I graduated, I have also kept in touch with the community um, because I find it always very inspiring to come back uh, to Rotman and to get to know the new students. Um, I did this through uh, TA, through judging a case competitions. Um, in addition, I also did a few mock interviews um, to help students prepare for um, the new work workforce that they are facing. Um, currently, I'm a strategic operations manager at Uber. And what I found is that all the technical skills that I learned from MMA really helped me to set myself apart and to be able to iterate on certain projects much faster.